Actually, scary horror movies are extremely hard to come by. They're like hidden gems. But when you do find one of these gems, they're life changing. A truly scary movie will have you immersed. It'll have your adrenaline pumping. It might even have you pissing your pants. So today, my people, I'll be talking about horror movies that I genuinely find scary. And in the end, I'll talk about one of the scariest movies I've seen in my life, at least top two. And without further ado, I'm starting with this movie first because yeah, we follow this family, mainly the mother, who are mourning the loss of the grandma of the family. When they start witnessing some very peculiar things happen. If you couldn't tell, it's another demon movie. But let's just say this movie gets a little creepier than the other one. Gotcha, Nick! This movie's dark atmosphere alone is enough to make me wet the bed. But the scariest part to me has to be that allergy seed. So Charlie, the daughter of the family who, when I first watched it, thought was Dustin from Stranger Things. Shout out my boy Dustin. Well, while she was at a party with her older brother Peter, she gets an allergic reaction to something that causes her to not be able to breathe. And I feel her. I get like this when I eat shrimp. So Peter is speeding to get her to a hospital because she was fighting for her life in that backseat. Somebody throw her a med kit. And since Charlie couldn't breathe, she takes her head out the window to breathe in some of that that fresh air you know but out of nowhere a deer spawns in the middle of the road and peter swerves out the way to avoid it but at the same time her freaking head came off when I first watched it, I was not only in shock that they did it so early, but they did it to a kid. Peter going home and getting in bed traumatized made it even sadder. Because when he wakes up the following morning, still in shock, and we hear his mother's reaction to what happened. Yeah, that was a cherry on top. Definitely the most disturbing scene in the movie, but not as scary as... Look, I know the Annabelle movies themselves may not be that scary, but that doll definitely is. Any scene with that doll just creeps me the frick out. I don't like dolls, and I know some of y'all probably don't either. So who's with me? Ever since I saw Chucky back in like 06, dolls have always given me the heebie-jeebies. They're definitely in my top 10 biggest fears, probably somewhere between Heights and Michael Jackson. And Annabelle is the worst of them. At least Chucky only uses a knife, and at least he'll crack jokes before he kills you. But Annabelle, Annabelle is pure evil. She can levitate out objects, possess people, burn your clothes, key your car. Am I thinking about the right movie? But still, Annabelle's creepy little porcelain face alone makes her movie scary. Like, have y'all seen her Facebook page? First off, this movie came out back in like the 1400s. I wasn't even allowed to vote back then. That's scary enough. But this movie is a different type of scary. Aside from its super nasty practical effects, this movie is known for the huge levels of uncertainty it gives you. For those of you who have never heard this movie or are just too young, I'll put it in the most simple way possible. This movie is real life among us. I am being so serious, I'm not joking at all. It's about a bunch of crew members, well, scientists, who are infiltrated by an alien who could take the form of other life forms. And once they realize there was an imposter among us, they all end up not trusting each other. And that's what makes this movie so scary, the paranoia. These dudes end up arguing, isolating each other, killing each other just cause they don't know who's who. Even us as the audience, we're left out of the know. We never really find out who's been assimilated and who hasn't unless the crew also finds out. So while you're watching, you're damn near as confused as that. Also, this isn't your average movie where all the characters are stupid and make terrible decisions. No, this is an intelligent group of individuals we're working with here. And even then, they still don't know who's who. That's terrifying for somebody like me. I'm not that smart of a guy. Probably average intelligence. My best subject in school was ELA. And even then, you don't know I blame glass. And I would only win in Among Us when I was the imposter. So in this scenario, I would be cooked. I wouldn't know who to not trust. I see the good in people. I'm sorry. Like imagine you were in a room with the most trustworthy people ever. SpongeBob, Tanjiro, Jim. Jiminy Cricket and every US president ever. What would you do? You would be inclined to believe all of them and then boom, you're dead. But honestly, I'd much rather deal with an alien than to deal with... So this movie's about this little puzzle box and when you solve it, it's supposed to give you this next level of pleasure. But really, it's just pain. But the scariest part about this movie, and really what carries the movie, is not the torture, because Saw does it better, is the Cenobites. There are these entities that you summon when you solve the puzzle. And I don't know about y'all, but when I was younger, they used to terrify me off appearance alone. It's not even the fact that they torture you. They could be giving me ice cream, and I still would be scared of them. I'd probably be more scared of them. I'm all for not judging people off appearance, but these dudes, come on, you gotta judge them. Not only do they look hella creepy, especially Chatter, just look at him, but they don't see 
see any of that torture stuff they do as wrong. They think if you summon them, they're doing you a favor. Luckily, I don't think I would solve the puzzle box because I wouldn't want to. If I really wanted to be tortured, I would just play some Detroit music in my ears. I, I, that'd be enough. And two, even if I wanted to, I don't think I'd be able to solve the box. I can't even solve the problems in my life. You expect me to solve this? And while I did just say the Cenobites are the scariest part about this movie, the true scariest part is how dang boring it is. Like, we don't even see the Cenobites until we're halfway through. This movie is really a snooze fest. Freddy Krueger and a copy of this movie is a deadly combo. They're falling asleep every single time. But even Pinhead and his friends don't compare to the last movie I have on my list. <laughs> I watched this movie recently, and I have to say, this is one of the scariest horror movies I've seen in my life. While a lot of horror movies are about ghosts, monsters, and freakishly strong serial killers, this movie is just about people, which is the main reason I find it so scary, cause we're people. This could happen to any and everyone. In this movie, we follow a couple who are staying at a lodge while on vacation in the middle of the woods. When they get a knock on their door. Is Tamara here? No. And this may have seemed normal at the moment, but it definitely wasn't. Because after that stranger knocking on their door, they proceed to be hunted down by not one, not two, but three killers. And three's a big number. And these three killers are not just your regular, degular killers, okay? Normally in slashers, the killers are just trying to capture their victims so they can do what they gotta do. But in this one, the killers purposely stalk their victims, scare their victims, and let them feel like they have a chance of escaping just to kill their hopes. Like, there's scenes where they could easily kill the protagonist, but they choose not to just because they get some sort of thrill off playing with their victims. They're just like those people who work at haunted houses, just pure evil. And on top of the already scary killers, this movie is filled with creepy shots, some creepy old music, and I can't believe I'm saying this, but some well-placed jump scares. One thing I don't like about this movie though is how dang stupid these main characters can be. The way I'm describing it, you guys probably thought this couple was helpless to these killers. Nah, they just fall under that bad decision making stereotype in horror movies. I don't want to get too into the details because I kind of want to make a video on bad decisions in movies, but I'll just say this. It was a 3v2 and the main characters had a shotgun. Y'all already know I would have gone stupid with that shotgun. I would have been in the bedroom aiming at the door all night camping like it was Call of Duty. I mean, they kind of did do that and it didn't go so well but we don't have time to cry reload and get back in place now you may be wondering why are they being hunted do they owe the killers money did they hurt someone close to them because you were home this is hands down one of the scariest lines in any horror film and one of the coldest this lets us know that this happened to our main characters for absolutely no reason it was just chance if it wasn't them it would have been the next person who answered the door that's terrifying your likelihood of owning a possessed doll meeting an alien who could turn into humans or summon literal demon torturers from hell is way less likely than a person who's sick in the head trying to hurt you this movie has reinstilled stranger danger into me so from now on i will not be opening the door for no one pizza the delivery, packages, not even my mom is getting in the house if she don't got keys. I'm not opening. You know, I've come to realize that a horror movie is only as scary as you make it. It's the vibes. It's dependent on how you watch it. Like if I'm watching Insidious with a bunch of friends, lights on, and we cracking jokes the whole time, I probably wouldn't take this Darth Maul looking dude serious. Now, if I was watching something goofy like Slaughterhouse, but I was all alone in the middle of the night, I probably still wouldn't be scared of it. It's, it's a movie about a killer sloth. Come on. But y'all see what I'm saying. Moral of the story. I'm over here stroking my- Gotcha, Nick! Break. Now we need a break. Try to run away. Try to get away. Someone could be 